Hello and welcome to the second round. We lost the first one, our opponent wasn't here for like 4 minutes, but we're definitely not gonna mulligan this. Uh, he did mulligan, but we have turn 1 noble, turn 2 troll, turn 2 stag or something, I don't know. Um, he seems to be mono red, which is still fine. I think I still lead with a noble. Nah, let's run the find horn and then the noble later on. Um, there's no need to put noble open to burn compared to compared to uh, anything else. Uh, if he's mono red and draws the deck is gonna be huge. Uh, there's magma jet, so as I said, putting noble up to burn doesn't actually matter. Uh, he keeps a card on top and on top. So he has two cards on top, but he's down to three cards in his hand, which is pretty good for me, obviously. Uh, let's play a tree speaker here. Unless he taps out, I don't think I'm gonna level the tree speaker. Ever. Uh, unless I have the excess mana. So he's still down to three cards. He's not tapping out. Not yet. Uh, Kargan Dragon Lord, definitely a card I hate to be playing against right now. Uh, he does level it, so I can level the tree speaker now. But next turn I'll be hit for four. I guess. Um, yeah, let's level this. Play it roll. And then pass the turn. But troll being able to hit for 4, me having plenty of mana. If I draw land, I can play both of these and have a bunch of tokens as well. Um, and him getting rid of monsters seems unlikely. Uh, Flame Tomb Cabo, Chandra. Deals 1 damage to target creature player. Copy that spell, it may choose no targets. Okay. Uh, it is a 4 though, so. Uh, if he attacks with the Dragon Lord, I can knock it down. He doesn't. Uh, so definitely going to attack Chandra still. Uh, I think he has the block here. He doesn't. Um, just play the stack. There's no need to play anything else here. Uh, the fact that this is at 1 means he can only ping me. Uh, else I would play these, but putting them an open to just a stupid pinger um, makes me a bit too weak. I think he's gonna level this, right? I would level this. Unless he has a really good play now, which seems unlikely. Nope. Thing is, though, if he levels it more and I take Chandra with both of these, he eats the stack, Chandra dies and I then play both of these, now it's just one of them at this point yep, uh, I think that's what he's gonna do, he's gonna eat the stack but I'm gonna kill the Chandra and then Master of Face will win the game yep, all good all is good in the land of Cargan Dragonlord He can't attack with it. Um, that would be stupid. He does attack with it. Well. Okay. Uh, no clue how he thinks he's gonna win the race here, but okay. Um, interesting. I think we attack Chandra, attack him, and attack him. And then just keep snake open uh, because we're definitely winning the race at this point uh, until he can pump this to an 8 8. And even if he does, we're still close to winning the race. Fire ticket, uh, so it will be an 8 8 flying trample that can get pumped. God damn that card! And I do not have a lot of flyers, there's on only sour. Maybe I should have dropped the wake treasure and trident lethal. Yeah, 
here it is. Um, getting beaten by a single stupid card. Uh, Kargan Dragonlord is a really good one. Like it's insane how good it is. So I need a flyer because hitting for seven is never going to be good enough. So sour is my only out. Sour and Vendillion click. No, Vendillion click doesn't even do anything because there's trample. Uh, Jit does not cut it either. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to do something like that. Uh, guest face down, pay these. Nope, just a bunch of lands. <coughs> Uh, four spike seems good against this guy. Dismiss seems a bit slow. Four spike is just to slow him down. I think three speaker is pretty bad against him. Yeah, let's try. Uh, God damn, Cargan Dragon Lord, why are you so big? Should I have played the monster earlier? I don't think I would have. Because then he just pings the token. Nah, it wouldn't have made a difference. Um, no, I want Mulligan this. Uh, we have found a shaman to get something. To get stuff like sour. If he doesn't burn it, of course. Let's hope he has a burn for the pilgrim. Nope. Let's attack here. Uh, no point to Sakashima. I do think I'm gonna lead with the Fana Shaman. If he has the burn for it, he has the burn for it. Uh, he at least didn't have the instant speed burn for it. He could definitely still have the Magma Jet again. I uh, guess he does, because else... I oh know, he has a Dragon Lord again. What are we gonna get? Um, let's just play this. Okay. Yes. Get an island. Play forest. Press the turn. Then end of turn. Get rid of the hypocrisite. Get a uh, good card, which I don't know yet what it is, but okay. Something. We have Shapeshifter, we have Sour. I think we just get Sour, right? And then we can get a Witness. Uh, witness Sakashima, wow. Combo. What is this? Zozo the Punisher, okay. I don't think you can attack with that, of course. Uh, discard this. Click seems nice. Um, there's also Master of the Wild Hunt. It just seems better. Should have gotten a forest, but okay. Uh, we still got one. Yep, do not care about that damage. Because uh, I would have taken it no matter what. Uh, I am going to attack with the Borderland Ranger. <laughs> Let me check who said something. Um, recording. He's not blocking, of course. Uh, and he takes two.
So muster the wild hands. Um, Master the wild hunt is gonna wreck his face if he doesn't have an answer against it. How uh, we can get witness, get Sakashima back, but that seems pretty weak. Oh, what's this? Hell's Thunder, sure. Do not have any life gain in my deck, uh, which is a bit sad. Uh, but I am gonna eat the Cargan Dragon Lord on my own turn. Uh, select targets. Begin combat with the Borderland Ranger. He blocks, that's nice. Ah, uh, because now I can freely play this. Then I have click at the end of his turn. Uh, or whenever I feel like it. And then with Sakashima we, we get more value out of that as well if we want to. Sakashima is a really fun card to play with. Figure of Destiny. So we can only make it a 2 2, so it's still gonna die to the Master of the Wild Hunt. Yep. And so he's just throwing away a card here. Ah, uh, what's this? Tarmogoyf, that's a nice one. Ah, uh, but not good enough, I think. So let's play click, see what he has. He has Domri, uh, which I guess is the hardest card to beat. So Inferno Titan, Worm Call. That's it. We eat a figure of destiny. And begin combat with a click. Just hit him. Um, not gonna Sakashima here. I uh, could obviously get a get another Master of the Wild Hunt, which I think would be GG. Uh, but he's two mana off, uh, one mana off to casting his big cards now. Uh, Curd Ape. Okay. Uh, end of turn, we're just gonna tap these um, to have more triggers. Always yield. Always yield. Forest is probably one of the worst draws I could get. Um. Because now I have to sacrifice Sakashima to counter with um, Mystic Snake. Okay, uh, he's at 11. He has two cards in hand which can be useful. Um, he just drew something. Oh no. It's a maze of it. Uh, that's actually pretty nice for him, I guess. Uh, it doesn't tap for mana though, and it actually doesn't fit his deck. I am not sure why he would run that card, but okay. Uh, obviously, tap for mana. Yes. There is a button to um, get through this, but I don't know the button. 
so he's just clicking okay apparently great stable stack huh uh, I think I'm gonna keep great stable stack there in that situation um let's attack with these maybe even the wolf nah the wolf is fine to kill things he has to maze of it this goes to eight end of turn I wolf this and he dies uh, he loses like um, no matter what he draws, he loses. Because he um, either draws the land that plays a 6 drop or has something else that he can drop, which I can counter anyway. Um, and then Master of the Wild Hunt will kill this. Switch a shrine, that's even more useless. So, not even gonna counter that. This little right one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah, okay. Just making sure <laughs> that no matter what he does, it's little. Um, I know I have a jade, but uh, nothing in his hand can stop this because I have full information about it. So he plays more big creatures now, uh, which probably means I want to dismiss him, or forbid, over Borderland Ranger. Borderland Ranger was valuable, I think probably Seagate Oracle is worse. Well, why, why do I still play the force spike if it's not that aggressive? Just run the dismiss. He's on the play though, uh, so maybe force spike is good here. Uh, so hard. Game is hard. Uh. Um, should I mulligan this? I don't think I should. Um, we can basically play almost everything out of our hand except the sour. Oh, he has a Goblin Guide. Oh, Curd Ape. Could be that he has a really aggressive opening here, in which case um, I'm sad, but uh, I doubt he has. Even if he has a removal, I still have two other Mana Elves. I'm not sure if he can even win against the without shit. Doesn't do anything. So let's cast the find horn. Uh cast the jits. Then pass the turn. Oh, so now he obviously knows about the jet. There's not much I can do about that. So we keep one, if he kills it, we can use it to keep it on the other. I don't think he, he can beat this if he doesn't have the remove for it. Uh, it's really good against his deck. It's really good, I mean really good. Uh, Hell's Thunder. Is this what is coming? It's a thunder. Thunder. Bow, bow. If he taps out of red, I'm actually happy. Uh, shooting Blaze, sure. Just as good for me. Uh, he's still attacking, well. Yeah, so we're gonna hit for two. Are we now? <laughs> yeah, we are. We still are. Um, uh, 
Umizawajit with counters is really hard for a red deck to beat. Um, I definitely want other lands, but I'll uh, be glad with what I have for now. He's gonna do something here. Chandra? Does it really have Chandra here? No, so so. I can kill that if I want to, but I actually don't have any land to play, so don't really give a shit. Not sure how he's gonna get out of this. That's a pretty good draw. But I'm not gonna use it yet. Um question is do I keep it on tracker? I think I do. Uh keep this on the tracker. So now I can block something, so he has no attack. And I'm at virtually nineteen. The reason I keep this on the tracker and not anything else is because I want the mana from the noble. Domri, sure. Um, I think he's gonna plus that, right? Yep. Lotus Cobra. So it has a Lotus Cobra now. That's cute. I have a line of play that kills both of these and kills the Domri if he does not have a creature. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so basically, we kill the Zozo. We keep it on the pilgrim. We say that the keep creature gets plus three plus three. Um, use this to kill this. Uh, I'm gonna gain two life here. I think that should suffice. Uh, no point in gaining more. Okay, uh, still only a 2 2. Which is still gonna die to the open world tracker. Uh, there's a Tarmo Golf, which is a bit harder for me to beat, I guess. Uh, and makes it a 2 2, yeah, okay. So, what's the plan, bro? We can make this a 5 5. So, if he blocks, uh, it's a bad idea for him to block. Um, just attack first. See what it does.
it's gonna have to start doing something sooner or later so it does block here, it does double block here even I um, think we want to time to go with that first okay and then we pump it twice so both of his creatures die and mine doesn't even die um, then we play Troll Sedic and keep cheat on it I think that's GG okay I <laughs> don't even have the ability to cast cars here um, and I'm still winning Yep, so go 1-1 one, one, and I'll see you guys for the last round.